certainly have filed, um, as far as I'm aware, and I'm, I have to say this, we just had a meeting yesterday of the executive where we uh, requested, um, the Secretary General requested from everybody uh, to submit the date on which they filed their, uh, their respective um, applications, their, um, their filings. Um, so I can say with some level of certainty that I think the, the, the majority, if not all, of the 14 parliamentarians in the House have filed, uh, and the senators have filed. Um, there are some new senators, um, but the, the one remaining senator, um, Senator Schumann, um, has filed. I am aware of that. Um, so I, I can't say with absolute certainty that there has been 100% compliance um, yet, but I know that uh, the great majority of the parliamentarians have filed, and we are insisting that they do so. Uh, if they have not done so, they will have to do so very, very quickly. Uh, we are insisting on that. It is true there is no integrity commission. There has been no integrity commission under this UDP government now going for three years, I think, or more. Um, and it is not, we have, we have already named our representatives on the integrity commission. Those people have already been named. Um, as you know, the, the Prime Minister named certain individuals who later on resigned um, because of certain laws that uh, came into being. Um, but that has been almost two months or, or so, at least two months. Uh, and why is it that they have not been able to find new nominees? Um, so it's a serious matter. Uh, it goes to the heart of the concerns of the Belizean people about accountability and transparency. Um, you know, we talked about issues today. Um, involving ministers of government and companies they own? Are these things being disclosed when they file?